What's up everybody, Tiak and Humor Story Quilting and a special guest, Brandy from The Quilter on Fire. And today we're gonna show you how you make up this quilt. Let's get started. So Brandy, the very first thing we gotta do is pick a jelly roll, we've already got one picked today, so let me have you go ahead and open that for me. And <laughs> what we're gonna do, right, jelly rolls are packed tight these yeah, days there here. You go. Pick any jelly roll that you like, it's gonna work for our projects today. And whatever background color. And we've already pre-cut these down to six and a half by four and a half inch rectangles. Now let's get on into like the actual fun part of this. What we wanna do is separate these out into gradation, right? Okay. So we need uh, about five or six, you know, reds to pinks, orange to yellows. You, you can get the vibe there. We're gonna separate them out. And that's what's giving us this amazing effect behind us. If we just look here, how you got the lights on one side, darks on another gonna make a beautiful quilt in the end. So what we want here is five different pieces that kind of have the same values. When we're talking about value, we have one color in multiple values. So a great way to choose values, light, medium, and dark, mm -hmm. or five in this case, is to take a photo with your camera or just hold your camera in front of it and it really shows the values. You can also switch your camera to black and white and that really helps you determine the value right. as well. These colors are really gonna pop on the black. So we've gone ahead and split up our values here into kind of their color order. Now, you don't have to do this. If you're working with maybe your favorite designer, maybe a Lori Holt, maybe a Tula Pink, anything like that, you don't have to be this, you know, anal about what colors go where. But we want to make sure it gives this ombre effect like you're seeing behind us. Next step that we're going to do is we're going to pull any one of these. What's your favorite color here? Yellow. Yellow. Okay, so let's pull the yellow orange. Luckily with this, pattern, everything's cut exactly the same. Every single strip is gonna be cut exactly the same. Yep. So what we're gonna to do is layer them in their values okay. and then just cut all five of them all at once. So we have five different cuts that we need to cut off this. Yeah. Obviously we're gonna have a little bit of a salvage edge here. The very first one we need a 10 and a half inch cut. Perfect. Then we'll need two eight and a halves. Two of those. And here's a trick. Now you know where, where you're going? Yeah. Okay, two of those. And now we need two um, six and a half. This right here is the leftover pieces, which for what you do in the art, the uh, fiber arts, this is gold right here, mm. having some nice values there, sunset, whatever you need it to be, yeah. which is beautiful. At this point now, we can make up our block. As you can see, we've got all the same top color. Yeah. We kinda need to scatter these colors. So we'll go like this, one here and then one all the way down the top. So what we're gonna do now is chop up all the different colors, kinda show you the spread of colors here, and then start sewing. So guys, we went ahead and chopped these all up. So we got our beautiful color ranges here, and this right here will make an entire full-size quilt, right? But for today's tutorial, we're going to make a, a little simple table runner. So now it's time to start sewing. I'll go ahead and just start passing these on over to you. One, that's a pretty block. What we're gonna do next is make up a bunch of these and then we can start putting together a row. So we went ahead and made up some of these. Let's just start throwing these out everywhere. I'll have you grab some of them as well. Just to show everyone all the beautiful colors that we have got going here. At this point, we can make some decisions here. Keep sewing, make a beautiful quilt, right? But we have our beautiful quilt so we can do a table topper, or in this case, what I think we should do is sew them all together in one long row, and then it can be for the bottom of the bed, right? A little nice table or a bed runner, which is super simple to do. So we just wanna make sure we get some matching colors, throw in a little bit here, a little bit there, and just do some mixed matching. Right sides together, we're going to just send this. Okay, one more. So guys, let us show you what we've done here. We went ahead and put all the blocks together. Let me have you hold it on that end. Makes a beautiful, beautiful little bed runner here. Or you could chop this in half, put them in, or put them on, what am I saying? What you could do is chop this in half and put them on top of each other, which would make a beautiful little placemat or a table runner. You could do a lot with this block or keep going. You can always keep going. 
make something beautiful just like this. We wanna give a huge shout out to Brandy here, the quilter on fire. And guys, if you have not seen, I guess you, no one's seen your podcast, huh? I was gonna say, <laughs> Listen, yeah. if, if anyone's ever, if you have not listened to her podcast, make sure you check it out on all the major social media platforms. That would be Spotify, that would be Apple, Google. Did I miss any there? Anywhere you can find your podcast app on your phone. I love that. And not only that, you are launching new content now on your YouTube channel, so make sure you check that out, which would be The Quilter on Fire. Absolutely. Guys, make sure you're showing the love there and subscribe over there as well. And not only that, down in the description below, there's gonna be a free PDF download of this project that you've seen today. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.